Hello, doctors. So let's continue with our top 50 FMG questions. So this time it will be parasitology and mycology. Okay. So this is our this is really easy topic. And then these two topics definitely you can expect questions from this. Okay. So let's start now. First question. Yeah. So what is here for us? So which of the following malarial parasites? you know, corresponds with the relapse in the Plasmodium vivax. Okay, this is the question. Relapse in Plasmodium vivax. So how to remember this? You guys must be knowing already for sure, but still, let's see what is important here. So you know there is something called relapse and recrudescence. There are two things, yeah? In malaria, we remember there are two things called relapse and the other one is recrudescence. Recrudescence, okay, recrudescence. Relapse means what happened? This uh, this malaria, what happened, this plasmodium, it remains there for years. It remains quietly and then suddenly, you know, it gets activated after years. Okay. So what happened? It is after three years. After three years, you have, the infection can happen. Okay, the, relapse, the, the plasmodium can relapse and can cause malaria again. Recrudescence can occur in weeks to months. Okay. It happens uh, after a few weeks or months, not so much. Okay. So it's just weeks to month only, not so much. Okay. Now what's important here? Relapse is happening for two people get relapsed. So let's say, you know, who are the two guys who sleeps frequently? It's Vivek. Okay. It's Vivek. And the other one is James. This is the shortcut you're going to remember. Okay. Vivek and James, what happened? They sleep. It means what they do? They go hypnosis. They go hypnosis. You got the clue now, right? So Vivek and James, they are going for sleeping all the time. They go hypnosis. Okay. Right? So, you got a clue now. So, the answer is very simple. The answer is what? It's either plasmodium. Vivek means it's plasmodium vivax. Okay? James means, you know, James, James, James dot. Where do you see the James dot? You see in the plasmodium ovale. Yes. So, these two guys, what happened? They sleep always. They sleep for years. Hypnosis means hypnozoid. Hypnozoid. Okay? Very simple. Don't forget. Vivek and James. James means in ovale because James is or James taught to seen in plasmodium ovale. Okay, or you can remember James as an oval face and Vivek. So these two guys, uh, Vivek and James, they have what? They have hypnosis. So it means they have hypnozoid. So this hypnozoid, what happened? It remains in your liver for years. And then what happened? After a few years, they become reactivated and again they can cause the infection. Okay, so that's what hypnozoid. So what about recrudescence? Recrudescence, I told it happens week to month, but recrudescence is characteristic for. Which one? It is for your plasmodium falciparum. Plasmodium falciparum. This is because uh, falciparum. Okay. This is usually because of what? Because of treatment failure. Treatment failure, drug resistant, all these are the reasons. Okay. So that time what happened? The plasmodium, it remains quiet. And then what happened? After a few weeks of treatment, they feel patient feel looks like better, but they are not completely cured. So again, there'll be recrudescence and the disease malaria can happen again. Okay. So this is the way you're going to remember it. So your answer for this one is relapse means you have to think about Vivek or James. That means plasmodium vivax or relapse. And what is the reason? What is the reason? That is the hypnozoids. Hypnosis. Vivek and James undergo hypnosis. So your answer is hypnozoids. Okay. Plasmodium vivax, hypnozoids. This is the question. So next time they can give you hypnozoids are seen in. You can expect question like that. Hypnos so hypnozoid means you remember hypnozoid means the hypnosis. Kiska hypnosis hota hai? Either Vivek, dosa, James. So it means plasmodium vivax or plasmodium ovale. Okay. Right. So now because uh, we are talking about malaria, we have to discuss some important things. Okay. Which you can expect because uh, I think last one or two the questions was not asked much so this time you can expect a question from malaria you can okay so now let's start so what you're going to do is that you're going to tell me infective stage so you know what is the infective stage so which is the infective stage uh first of all you know uh, uh, uh there are two things for man there is infective stage and for mosquito when you talk about mosquito it means the female anopheles right mosquito is a female anopheles mosquito okay female anopheles mosquito so this is female anopheles there is no male anopheles mosquito because Female Anopheles mosquito, what? It likes what? Blood, human blood, but not the, uh, your, uh, the, not your uh, the male. What does the male do? Male usually depends on what? Male usually depends on, male usually depends on the plant juices. Okay, so it is not uh, causing malaria. So only female Anopheles mosquito causes malaria. Now, what about the man? In man, what is the infective stage you remember? Sporozoid, sporozoid, okay? Sporo, sporozoid, sporozoid is the infective stage to man. That is when the mosquito bites us, the sporocyte goes in. So how you remember? Sporo. 
yeah sporozoid so you remember as you remember as what spear spear with a spear mosquito is killing the human spear aise yaad karo with a spear someone is killing you who is killing mosquito is killing you that's the way you're going to remember okay for mosquito the infective stage is gametocyte this was a question asked so both are important gametocyte that means when the mosquito bites us it gives us sporozoite and what happen when it's uh, in turn what happen return they take the gametocyte okay they give us sporozoite and cause infection and they take gametocyte and then that cycle happens in the uh, mosquito that's with life cycle so life cycle is important so we have what definite host and intermediate host definite host and intermediate host so this is an important question if you remember why i'm stressing here because which is the definite host here it is the mosquito female anopheles mosquito is the definite host sexual cycle is happening in the mosquito and intermediate is the man so that's what i told remember the shortcut where man is not intermediate host or man is not definite host man is intermediate host man is intermediate host in which one which are the diseases i gave you clue last time it was hmt watch hmt watch hmt watch is intermediate an old watch it's an intermediate watch right so what are you going to remember h for your hydatid cyst yeah you remember as hydatid cyst and m for malaria you got it malaria and what about t t for toxoplasma gondii toxoplasma gondii toxoplasma gondii okay i'm just it's a revision class so you know you have to be fast fast okay so hydatid cyst me what happened dog is the definite host Ma malaria me mosquito is definite host in toxoplasma cat cat is the definite host yeah toxoplasma gondii if you remember congenital uh, toxoplasma can occur and especially pregnant ladies okay so i'm not going to much detail of that okay right so this is your life cycle you should know this okay now we have different type of dots that's what i'm stressing the dots so you can have a question so what are the important dots you know now i'm sure that by this time you guys are in you must be knowing uh, all the dots that are only but if you don't also not a problem i'll give you very easy method how to remember this okay so let's start first let's start with the uh, uh, sharpness dot okay s h a s i'm sorry sharp okay sharpness dot sharpness dot okay sharpness dot okay sharpness and then james James dot Safnes dot James dot Moyer M E U E Moyers dot Moyers dot dots are basically the the this is type of pigments okay pigment accumulation there okay so Moyers dot and other one is your uh, which one your uh, for uh, for uh, one by one we are coming one by one okay Z man Z man Z man dot okay Z man dot so now you are going to answer me so shop now. Shaf, now how to remember, sir? How to remember? It's difficult. There are so many things. How to remember? Okay, no need to worry. It's very, very, very easy. How to remember? I'm going to tell you now in a minute. Yeah, remember like this. Vivek's girlfriend, his shaf, now very simple. So it is Plasmodium vivax. Got it? Vivek's girlfriend is shaf, now. Don't forget, Vivek has girlfriend shaf, now. Shafna is a common name, so Vivek's girlfriend Shafna. Okay, South it's popular. Vivek Shafna combination is very popular. Okay, Shafna. And also, don't forget one more thing when you talk about Vivek. One is the Shafna. You remember the girlfriend. Other one is what your Duffy. Duffy antigen. You remember Duffy also girl. Duffy also another girl needed for Vivex. It means whenever there is a Duffy antigen in a body, Vivex ka. Uh, infection can be easy it means the receptor this duffy receptor on the rbc has important role for this vivax to enter inside so vivek has two girls shafna and duffy when any question come with shafna's dot or duffy remember vivek 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 the plasmodium vivax okay remember so that is mandatory it's important question you can uh you have to know you have to know there's no other option you have to remember this okay that's why i'm giving this clue another one james is i told james has oval head uska head hai na, oval shape hai. Okay? so james means oval oval head oval head james okay james ko oval head so you will not forget it okay moyer moyer is the dangerous one whenever you remember moyer whom you are remembering whenever you remember moyer you are remembering what the chinese the 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 chinese uh, leader the old one not now the old communist leader so it means anything which chinese it is dangerous so you remember mao mao is dangerous so anything dangerous what is your plasmodium falciparum you know that falciparum is the most common nowadays falciparum is the common worldwide it's most common also most dangerous one okay in india also falciparum is leading now okay it's either uh, vivax or falciparum they will not ask that question but even if they ask also please remember falciparum is leading worldwide also most common india also most common and most dangerous also falciparum because it has what moyer dots okay i'll give you uh plasmodium uh, falciparum i'll give more uh, more clues but then just now you remember this okay now zeman zeman you know who likes ztv mala likes 
I mean to say malaria, plasmodium malaria, plasmodium malaria, plasmodium. We have one more species, Novel C. I'm not going to talk about that. These four are important. Novel C is something new. It's in uh, Kerala. It's very common. Okay, that's much you should know. And it, it, it causes every 24-hour fever. Most of here, if you see the fever here, you know all the plasmodium cause what? They usually cause tertian fever. Tertian, except malaria, except malaria, it causes a quadrant fever. That means fever will uh, occur at the fourth day after every three days. Every three days fever will occur. Tertian means in every, after every 48 hours and the third day fever, all these three have tertian fever, but only Zeman Mala, this causes the tertian fever. It's not that much as, so it's okay. I'm not going to stress on that. Okay. You remember this only. Zeman, Z. Who likes Mala? Mala, Mala. Okay. Remember malaria? Malaria. Mala. Mala likes what? ZTV. ZTV ka? Z or man, whatever you want to remember. Malaria likes ZTV. ZTV. She likes ZTV or ZTV man, whatever. Okay. Mala likes ZTV. And don't forget one more mala. You remember mala sisia furfur? That mala sisia furfur is a fungal that causes what? Pitreasis vesicolor. And that mala likes what? Meat and what? Meat and spaghetti appearance. Yes, very good. And also she likes banana and grapes. And also she likes fried egg with olive oil. That point you must know. There is no way you're going to miss that one. So two malas don't One mala there, one mala here. This plasmodium mala, malaria, what? It causes Zeeman's doubt. Zeeman's doubt. So this is like a sketch mark question. You should know. Okay. If it's a one-liner, if you're lucky and if they ask one-liner, this would be the examiner's favorite uh, uh, topic, doctors. Okay. So please, doctors, have an, uh, you just have to remember that. Okay. Yes. Now see, few more pictures. These days, the pictures are common. So when whenever you see like this, this is a ring stage, right? See, this is the ring stage. Some are a cold form ring stage. So this is very common. See, you're seeing multiple rings. Okay. Multi when you see multiple rings or a cold form, that is common for this is, uh, you see, there is this side me that is a cold, a cold form. Okay. And uh, single ring. Okay. If you see multiple rings, multiple rings, if the picture comes like this, that is plasmodium falciparum. Okay, I will give you the clue. Don't worry, but just I'm showing the picture so that it will become easy now when we are going for the discussion. Falciparum. Okay, falciparum. What about this? This is a cold and multiple rings. Okay, now what about the one second? Go to other color. Yeah, now look at this one. This is round shaped or oval shaped gametocyte. So when there is an oval shaped gametocyte, gametocyte, it is what? It is your Vivax, plasmodium vivax. See, we are stressing here only the vivax here. These two, both these two are, do you see the pigment inside? Okay. And that is the vivax, plasmodium. It's a gametocyte of the vivax stage. Okay. It's which is oval in shape, enlarged RBC with oval shape, oval shape thing. That is gametocyte of vivax. This one, this one, see, you should know vivax and uh, uh, vivax and falciparum are only important because these two are the common malaria rest all other ovale and malaria are very rare very rare sometimes it's not diagnosed only so vivax and falciparum is important so the picture is important when you see an oval shape round shape enlarged rbc that is vivek vivax okay vivax but when you see a banana shape that is a banana shaped gametocyte or crescent shape banana or crescent banana or crescent that is what a banana crescent is for your Plasmodium falciparum. Please remember that. Gametocyte of falciparum. This question you can have. You, you have to expect this banana shape question. You, you must know. Banana means falciparum. Plasmodium falciparum. Okay, Maur. Maur writes banana. Maur, the dangerous guy. Mao, Mao dots. Mao, Chinese Mao. He likes banana. And crescent. Remember like that. Okay, banana or crescent. So plasmodium falciparum. And for vivax, it is what? Oval shaped. Oval shaped gametocyte. It's round and shaped. Okay, that's it. This much only I'm going to stress. Okay, now... See, uh, so these are the basic things of the malaria you should know, okay? Uh, but now, apart from that, what are, uh, I will go to the diagnostic part also a little bit. Once again, just a second. Before that, let's do this question and then we'll go. I think it will be much better, right? Okay. So now see, look at this. This question, here they say, uh, an unconscious patient is found with a fever, sweating, severe paleness, okay? Fever, sweating, whenever this fever, and what is the most likely diagnosis? Now, see, whenever the two important things, whenever uh, a patient comes with the fever and sweating, what is the thing you're going to think? Whenever he comes with the fever and sweating, what is the thing you're going to, uh, first thing you're going to think? It is, uh, uh, fever is fine, any infection. Sweating means you have to think about UTI and malaria. Definitely, these things should be in your top priority, okay? And then rest, it can be anything. It can be any viral infection or bacterial infection. Everything is possible. But immediately, whenever there's a sweating, uh, shivering, 
you know, excess sweating or whatever, uh, especially I'm talking about the shivering. Whenever there's a shivering, when patient is cold with shivering, you have to think about UTI and malaria. It's mandatory. Okay. It's very, very important. Otherwise, everything is fine. Fever, sweating can occur in any disease. Okay. Look here. Encephalitis, possible. Meningitis, possible. You can have fever and sweating. TB meningitis, also possible. Cerebral malaria, also possible. But what is very important here, they said severe paleness. So severe paleness means there is what? Paleness means hemoglobin should be down. That means what? RBC must have broken down. So whenever an RBC is broken down, you will think about what? Malaria. Why? Because in malaria, you saw before the plasmodium attacks the RBCs. Yeah, it attacks the RBCs. RBC is broken. That's what we have what? Hemoglobin. We have hemoglobin urea. So body may hemoglobin becomes low. That's what you have paleness. You have severe paleness. So because all the uh, and the patient is unconscious, right? So that means something related with the brain. So anything is possible, but because severe paleness is there, my answer would be cerebral malaria. So this is what, how you're going to think and write. In other cases, hemoglobin uh, breakdown is not there. So paleness means it's towards RBC breakdown. RBC breakdown is the cerebral malaria. Now, who is causing the cerebral malaria? As I told you, who is that? Who is the dangerous fellow? Is Moyer. Moyer is the, who is Moyer? Plasmodium falciparum. So Plasmodium falciparum, there are, I'll give you a clue. How to remember Plasmodium falciparum? First of all, this is the most, most dangerous. And whenever I talk about Moyer, yeah, Moyer, Mao is the dangerous one, right? Chinese Moyer is the dangerous one. So what are the important complications of Plasmodium falciparum? One is this cerebral malaria. One is this cerebral malaria, okay? Cerebral malaria. Other one is, if you remember, what you there is one more thing called hemoglobin urea. Hemoglobin urea. Okay, that's also very much. If you remember, that is also called black water fever. Black water fever. They have kidney problem, and because of hemoglobin breakdown, hemoglobin exceeds in the kidney. So that is the reason. Okay, when kidney is affected, black water fever and cerebral malaria is very common. Apart from that, multiple algae malaria, CNS, they can go for shock, so many complications. Sir. This too, you remember, cerebral malaria, black water fever is because of plasmodium falciparum. So, what is the shortcut, sir? Shortcut is BMR. Remember BMR. Okay, B, B, E, M, A, A. R. Whenever you have falciparum, you will become BMR. Okay, BMR means in Hindi it is you're sick, right? Sick. That's the good shortcut. Okay, good shortcut. Whoever found really, it's it's a smart idea. This is a very smart idea. I love this one. So B B for banana. I told you already. Banana shape. Banana shape. Gametocyte is classic for your mouth. Falciparum. M for moir. Our dangerous Chinese moir. Okay, moir's dot. Okay, you know that I thought already. A for a coal. A coal is like a headphone. You know, it's a headphone. Around the RBC, what happened? Yeah, this this trophozoite, early trophozoite, you no, know, they just stick to them like this, like a earphone in the RBCs. That is called a coal form. So a coal, a coal is, you know, a coal, it's uh for your falciparum only. Dangerous one, right? A coal. Okay. Yeah. And what is another A? It affects all stages of R. That is a question. All stages of RBC. Why? Why it's important? Because your plasmodium vivax, it involves only the young RBCs. It affects only the young. That's what Vivek is very young. That's what he has two girlfriends. Okay. He's young RBC. Because he's young, he has two girlfriends. Who are they? Shafna and other one is your other one is your Duffy. Shafna and Duffy. Okay. Because he's young. Vivax is young, young RBC. But your uh, Moir is old. So he affects all RBCs, all stages of RBC. Okay. This is the easiest way to remember. So please remember Falciparum means Mao, Mao, Chinese Mao. Well, Vivax means Vivek, young Vivek, who was Shafna and who was Duffy. Both are his favorite. Okay. And R for recrudescence. Recrudescence. Recrudescence means it is, again, it's a type of uh, reoccurrence of the malaria due to treatment failure or drug resistance. Okay. So these are the common thing for your falciparum. Remember BMR. Whenever you falciparum, remember Mao and Chinese Mao. And then you remember Mao is BMR. Okay. It's BMR. That's it. Okay. Vivek means Eng. He's very young and he's Shafna and Duffy. Okay. And one more thing, Vivek, when you talk about young RBC, you always say what? Enlarged RBC in Plasmodium Vivax, enlarged RBC. The meaning is because young RBCs are always enlarged. That's the reason we say uh, in Plasmodium Vivax, RBCs are enlarged. Okay. That's like a misnomer, but remember this. Okay. So these are the important things in your malaria. You have to know these things. Apart from that, uh, I might not write here. Uh, one second. What I'll do? If you remember the, uh, which is the gold standard? I'm sorry. One second. 
So which is the gold standard for the uh, malaria uh, for diagnosis? Ka? Which is the gold standard? You remember the, any idea? It is your what are you going to say? Gold standard is always, always, gold standard is always your smear. Smear. This is the, the thick smear, thin smear. We have no peripheral blood smear. That is the gold standard. Which is the gold standard? This one. This what you're seeing. The gold standard, gold standard test for malaria is this peripheral blood smear. Peripheral blood smear. Okay, PBS. So we have thin, thick smear and thin smear. This is a thin smear. In thin smear, what you can speciate. In thin smear, you can identify which species it. That you remember. Thin smear. Thick smear is just for quantification. How much? How much uh, amount of you know parasite is there in the blood that we are checking. Okay. So peripheral blood smear is the gold standard one. And if they ask you in fluorescent microbes, there's something called uh, quantity buffet coat. Okay. Quantity buffet coat. QBC. So this one here, we are using fluorescent dye. What is the fluorescent stain we are using? Acridine. Acridine. Acridine is the dye. Okay. If this they can ask. Which is the which is the stain they use means acridine. Okay. And one more culture media is there. RPMI media. I don't think they are going to ask about this. RPMI media is basically culture and for theory, but only for research purpose, not in the common. Okay. Otherwise, yeah. But another important gold standard is peripheral blood smear. But we have some rapid tests. You remember the rapid test we have rapid test in rapid test is a card test rapid test is the latex agglutination test yeah latex uh, not uh, not let us you call it as the rapid card test okay it is basically like this the card okay like this yeah it's a lateral flow assay it's a lateral flow assay so we have to we're based on two protein one is hrp protein and other one is based on the ldh 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 and aldolase ldh and aldolase okay so here why i want to stress this HRP is specific for HRP is specific for which one? HRP is specific for Plasmodium falciparum. Remember, falciparum, which is very specific. That's what Mauer gets. HRP is specific for our Mau falciparum. But LDH aldolase, it's common for all Plasmodium. It's for all Plasmodium. So that means it's not specific. All Plasmodium. Okay. So any Plasmodium species, it will come positive. It will show positive uh, if you are using LDH Wala kit. But if you're using HRP kit, it is specific only for plasmodium falciparum. This I want to stress. HRP, histidine-rich protein. Don't HRP2. HRP2, histidine-rich protein for plasmodium falciparum, where your LDH and all is for all plasmodium. This much only. This much for diagnosis. But the gold standard is always your peripheral blood smear, which you're doing with Jimsa stain. We are using Romanowski stain. That's Jimsa stain. And we're checking all these pictures, whatever I showed you. Okay, that's the gold standard. But if you ask in rapid, maybe HR, HRP2 protein is specific for plasmodium falciparum. That's it. Okay, got it? So malaria is done. So you will be, uh, I'm sure malaria, you will uh, do very good. If any question comes malaria, you will not miss it. Okay. Now let's go to the next question. Next question, again, interesting. Uh, so look at this. A young boy presented with a complaint of abdominal discomfort, nausea, vomiting, something abdominal related, nausea, vomiting, some non-specific symptom, I mean, it's related with the GIT. Okay. He has. Now a, a stool sample was collected and a microscopy was performed. Now there was a microscopy. And we did a microscopy. This was the feature. Identify the organism. Okay. So how are you going to identify? I'm sure some people are already making some guesses. What do you think? What is the what is your answer? What is this? What is what is this? What is this looks like? It's which egg it is? It is, it is Ascaris. Very good. Okay, it's Ascaris. It's Ascaris lumbricoides. We have the uh, this one. See, this with the space, if you see, here's some crescentric space, okay? If you re see clearly crescentic space, that if there is a space, then that is fertilized. Fertilized egg, okay? This is a fertilized egg of Ascaris. But if there is no space completely covered by this uh, coat, uh, this uh, embryo coat, then that is unfertilized. No space, it's not fertilized. Unfertilized, okay? Unfertilized or not fertilized. Now that means, now we have to discuss all the eggs because I again and again repeating, egg is an important topic in exam. They can give one egg picture and they'll tell you to identify. So it means the egg should be in your fingertips. So I'll make you to come in your fingertips. So just listen to me. Next slide, we have, I've written everything. Look at these eggs. I'm sure by this time, by uh, you must be thorough, but if you're not thorough also, don't worry. Don't worry, doctors. It is, it happens. So it's revision is important. That's what I'm revising you again and again. Okay, even if it's your first time revision, doesn't matter. Listen to me carefully. You'll be very easy. So eggs are usually some eggs, you know, especially when you talk about the uh, um, yeah, the cesto trematode eggs, the eggs is operculated or non-operculated. So look at this egg. There's a space and a lid. That means this is called operculated. Operculated means opened egg. Operculated egg. Yeah, operculated egg. This is operculated egg. Okay. And look at these eggs. Here it is not open. So it is non-operculated. Okay. Non-operculated. Non-operculated eggs. This is a non-operculated egg. Okay. This is a non-operculated egg. Got it? Okay. Now you have to tell the answers. So how to remember, sir? I will tell you how to remember. 
first one operculated shortcut is c open what is open open is when you will get std when you will get an std when you do without condom that means openly you do sex then you get std it is a shortcut okay just for shortcut there's no link with std here remember open means when it is open when you have a sex without a condom that is open so the shortcut is std yes stands for spirometra spirometra not that important they don't ask much it's it's like it's not a common it's not a pathogen okay it's just common cell sort of thing t for trematode trematode sir kaise yaad karo trematode t t ko bhul jayega don't forget tree you will not forget tree is always open tree is always outside it's always open so it's open open egg so all the trematodes are open except there is one always there's an exception who is that exception this one the below one what is this sister zoma i will talk about it i'm i'm going to come there sister zoma x all the sister zoma x okay okay d for diplobotrium latum diplobotrium latum this comes in the cestode diplobotrium diplobotrium latum so also open it diplobotrium latum okay diplo you remember bottle you have to open the bottle you have to open the bottle to drink right so tree is always open here bottle bottle you have to open the bottle to drink you want to drink whatever you want juice alcohol whatever you want to drink you have to open the bottle first right so remember two open tree is open bottle is open so this you very easy even without std also you forgot you remember two your tree is open okay any when they give you picture like this and say identify if the option is trematode mark it just mark it except would be cystosoma i'll tell you why and diplobotrium lotum if you see bottle yaad aana chahiye remember and one more b bottle i told botryasis 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 is for staphylococcus aureus staphs ke paas kya hota hai bottle hota hai don't forget that's also question asked in your fmg and one one more is here and diplobotrium bottom one more thing this is a bada naam hai diplobotrium means bada naam hai so what it causes it causes vitamin b12 deficiency okay vitamin b12 deficiency mal that is vitamin b12 malnutrition or deficiency okay don't forget it's megaloblastic anemia megaloblastic anemia b12 deficiency means megaloblastic anemia okay One is your Fasciolopsis buski bus bus bhi bada hai. Usme bhi B12 deficiency hoga. And Fasciolopsis buski and other one is your Diplobotrium lotum. Two vitamin B12 related uh, parasites. Okay, you might have a question that. Okay, megaloblastic anemia. Okay, yes. Now look at this. Sister zoma. I told you non-operculated egg. My sister zoma will come. Okay, sister zoma. So how to remember, sir? Apart from sister zoma, see, uh, if if Diplobotrium lotum means is the open, then all other uh, cestodes, all other cestodes like your tinea example. This is your tinea. H nana, they all are closed. H nana, okay. Only tree is open. All other things are uh, closed. Okay. So in that way, you remember like that. Okay. All other trematodes open. So now, sister zoma, how to remember? So you see, see here. This is the sister zoma. Means this one. The first one, what you are seeing is basically the first one which you are seeing is just one second. Yeah. What one you are seeing is this is sister zoma mansoni. Sister zoma mansoni. How to remember, sir? Mansi ka kya hai? Mansi, this pretty girl, Mansi. She has a side style, like a ball. Hai. She has a spine. These are called spines. Uska, you remember? Mansi ka, this pretty girl, Mansi. Let's say this is say of Mansi. Okay, she is pretty girl, and she her hair. Uska ponytail side me hai. Just she has a ponytail the tail. Very simple. Mansi ponytail side. A picture that. Don't think anything. Okay, don't think anything. Very simple. Mansi, a picture. Dekhe aap kya? If you want, you draw a picture there. A beautiful Mansi hai. ठीक है मानसी के देखो उसका बाल साइड में है ओके गॉट इट मानसी हो गया यू कैन गेट दैट क्वेश्चन लुक एट दिस वन हियर दिस इज हेमाटोबियम दिस इज दिस इज मानसोनी एंड द सेकंड वन इज सिस्टर जोमा आई एम गोइंग टू राइट इट हियर ओके दिस वन इज सिस्टर जोमा हेमा टोबियम हेमाटोबियम सिस्टर जोमा हेमाटोबियम टी फॉर टी टी फॉर टी टी इज terminal spine terminal spine you see here you see this one is like a t or terminal spine how you want you remember t terminal spine the spine is on the terminal so it is called terminal spine you can have a question on this you can have a question on this and the i'm coming there is some more disease also you should know about sister zoma i'll come there before that what is this one here is a small knob small knob okay small knob so you know who has small nose any idea which people which country people have small nose Sister Zoma, Japonicum, Japonicum. So when you have a picture like this, small knob type of egg. There's when there's a small knob. Okay, this is small knob, knob or spine, whatever. It's a small or rudimentary spine. Also, you can say anything rudimentary, anything small. Okay, you will think what? Sister Zoma, Japonicum. Okay, Sister Zoma, Japonicum. Now. Okay, so eggs are clear. Eggs you will never make mistake. Either operculated or non-operculated, you are taro now. Okay, side me mansi, side ball mansi. Terminal is to terminal dangerous. Sister, some hematobium. Why it's dangerous? I'm going to tell now. And Japanese is small now. Fine, very good, excellent. Now what you have to know? 
What are the diseases caused by that? That is important. The question would be diseases. Cystus homo hematobium, you know what is the cancer that it causes? It causes urinary bladder cancer. If you remember urinary bladder cancer, urinary bladder cancer. Uh, and one more thing I forgot, very important clue to give you. Even if you forget non-operculated eggs, what you're going to remember? All the sisters, all the sisters, any sisters, it could be a church sister, hospital sister, any sister, they are always covered, not open. They are covered. You understand? Not open. They are not open. Even I'm giving one more clue for you guys. Even if you forget, remember, sisto sisters, sisto sisters, they are always completely covered. They are not open because they're a good job, decent job. So they can't be opened. Okay. That's a clue. And then, Mansi ka sidebar, Mansi sister ka sidebar. This uh, sister's homo hematobium terminal. And dangerous is what? Hematobium T for terminal. Hematobium naam mein hai. You have urinary bladder cancer. Okay, urinary bladder cancer. That means whenever in the urine, whenever in it, 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 this favorite size is bladder. In urine, when you see this type of egg, that is cystosomia hematobium. Don't forget. Cystosomia hematobium. One cancer is cystosomia hematobium. Sir, there's one more cancer also. Gallbladder cancer, urinary bladder cancer. Sister ka ho gaya. Cystosomia hematobium ka ho gaya. But bladder, oh, gallbladder cancer ka koon karta hai? Sir? Yes. Gallbladder cancer, I'm going to write it in the side here so that not to uh, mix with other things. The gallbladder cancer, it's caused by do you remember? That is otherwise also gallbladder. Uh, actually, it's called bile duct cancer. It should be a gallbladder. It's not gallbladder. It's a bile duct cancer. Bile duct cancer or cholangiocarcinoma. Cholangiocarcinoma. Cholangiocarcinoma is caused by which one? Clonorichus sinensis. Clono, clonorichus. Clono, clon, I'm sorry. I'm just trying. Clonorichus. Sinensis, okay. Clonorichus sinensis. Don't for Chinese fluke form. Don't for Chinese fluke. Okay. C for C Chinese. C for C cholangiocarcinoma. C C C. It's easy. Don't forget. That's for gallbladder. That's bile duct carcinoma. Common bile duct or any bile duct carcinoma. Too important bladder ka. Don't forget gallbladder ka. That means uh, bladder. When I talk, it's a bile duct or cholangiocarcinoma. And other one we talk about urinary bladder. It's just hematobium. What about Japanicum? Japanicum. The name. The name itself gives a clue. Japan people means the name is like. Katayama, Katayama. You remember these type of names go common for them. So when the question called Katayama fever, you have to think about the Japonico. Something called Bilharziasis, intestinal that is for Mansi. I don't know that question is that much asked, but even if they ask also Bilharziasis, you know, Mansi ka bill karna bahut pasanda. Mansi likes to pay the bill, okay? Likes to pay the bill. So Bilharziasis, it's also called Bilharziasis, Bilharziasis, okay? Intestinal Bilharziasis, you remember as Mansi, finished, okay? Got it? So you got all the questions. So aapka, these two eggs are over now. And we, we have revised almost uh, everything important here. Okay. One more thing. Sisters ka kya hota hai? Sisters, because they're completely covered. There's a itch called what? What itch it is? It is called? Uh, it, no, uh, it is called? It is a swimmer's itch. Yes. Swimmer's itch. There's a itch called swimmer's itch. That is by any sistosoma. It's called S-W-I-M-M-E-R. Swimmer's itch. Okay. Swimmer's itch. Please don't forget. Swimmer's itch bhi kiska hota hai? Sisters go with S for S, S for S. Sisters get itching, okay? They get swimmer's itch. That's it. Sisters on yes, yes. We are finished, okay? Very easy. Almost all parasite is get, getting covered. Uh, I'm glad, okay? So this one, what are the egg you're seeing here? This is the which egg? This is your cestode eggs. This is your cestode egg. This is your cestode egg, okay? Cestode, yeah. Cestode egg. Or tapeworm. These are the tapeworm. Cestode, tapeworm, they're same, okay? Tapeworm egg, okay? Tapeworm or cestode. Here, this question could be, it can be the option you can have with a tinea. It can be tinea, solium, saginata, or hechnata. Usually, they'll give hechnata. Hechnana, how to find, sir? Very simple. You will see inside the egg, there is this uh, three pairs of hooklet. Three pairs means total six hooklet, but it's in pairs. So, three pairs of hooklet. Three pairs of hooklet. Let me change the color. Three pairs of hooklet. Okay. Three pairs of hooklet. Okay. Three pairs of hooklet. And polar filament. You see this polar. Polar filament. Okay. Hooklet and the polar thickening or polar filament you will see on the end. So when you see this thing, this polar filament and hooklet, that should be H. nana atenia. With an outside, you know, this embryo pore. That's fine. Embryo pore, whatever it is. So, but inside the embryo, you will see what? Three pairs of hooklet. That means six hooklet plus this polar thickening. That is your H. nana egg. You can get this question. Okay. This picture, very easy, hydrated cyst. I'm not going to talk much here. It's a hydrated cyst. Hydrated cyst, what do you think you would do? Hydrated cyst, the definite host is, of course, your dog. And you. another important thing is what? It is which test you're going to do? Cassoni's test. Cassoni's test you're going to do. And the most common, uh, the, the most common is hydrated cyst, your liver. That also you know. Okay. Hydrated cyst, echinococcus cyst. Okay. Dog is a definite host. 
All right, I'm not going to talk much about it. What about this beautiful egg you're seeing here? This egg looks like a D, I right? know? That is plano convex egg, plano convex, you call this plano convex, plano convex egg, but it looks like a D. So D means, who says D? Who says D, D? Who is the one who's crying D, D at night time? I told you a child cries at night time, D, D, because of what? Perianal itching. Perianal itching was such a jada itching or so the first thing he will call is D, 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 he will cry. Why he'll cry? Because that infection, the perianal itching is caused by entrobios vermicularis. Entrobios vermicularis. Don't forget, this is definite question. Highly expected question. So please, do doctors, please remember, this is important. Entrobios vermicularis, otherwise called as pin worm, thread worm, seat worm, anything they can call. Pin thread, because there is such a chote worm. Everybody in a childhood, we had it. Usually, you don't see it in the stool. Usually, it's in the perianal skin area. It causes auto-infection also. If you remember, it comes in the auto-infection shortcut. I'll talk to it later. So, entrobios may attach. So, it's a pin worm, a thread worm, a seat worm. So, please remember, plan economy. It's just simply, you see a larva inside. There's a larva inside, okay? Uh, like a tadpole larva. And then, uh, uh, DD. Okay, DD means entrobios vermicularis. You got it. I'm sure you'll not forget this. Now, this one. This also, I already, in my previous uh, class, I've given you very good clue. So, even if you don't remember, so it doesn't matter. I'm here to help you guys. So, what is this here? So what is this one? This one, it looks like a dumbbell, right? Dumbbell. It looks like a dumbbell or it looks like a what? Barrel. Barrel shaped egg. Yeah, dumbbell or barrel shaped. Yeah, because side may say, no? it's just simple like a dumbbell. Dumbbell or barrel. So what you have to do? You have to try, try to break the coconut, try to break the coconut shell, try to break the coconut shell with dumbbell, barrel or dumbbell or barrel, or with the whip, with the whip, you know, whip is that big one, they beat themselves, no? that one, whip, okay, big, so you got all the clue now, I already told everything now, no, you don't even use your brain, you don't even need another reason, try, try, what is, that means, trichuris, trichuria, we have trichonella spiralis, so don't confuse with that, that's what I'm giving you, try, try, trichuris, trichuria, trichuris, trichuria, to confuse your examiners are very smart, they will give you option, me, sara, tea, or they, they'll give trichuris, trichuria, they'll give trichonella spiralis, they'll give trematode, and whatever tea is there, they will add, then you'll get confused. So that's what, remember, they try, 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 try to break the coconut. Coconut also has a clue. So first of all, this egg is trichuris trichuria egg. Now, first question. Second one, there is a coconut shell rectum. If you remember, coconut shell rectum, it's because of the rectal prolapse. Rectal prolapse, hota hai. you see that picture that was also asked in previous some exams. Coconut shell, jesa, the, 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 the rectum gets prolapsed. That's also because of this only, this uh, trichuris trichuria. Whip, another name is called whip worm. In option, may whip worm, method, don't confuse. Whip is to break. Whip is to break the coconut. Try, try to break the coconut with whip. Okay, whip worm. So don't worry. Whip worm, ye, pin worm, thin worm, they all confuse you. The thread worm, thin, uh, the thread worm, pin worm is your entrobiosis. Whip worm is your so this question will be asked. Expected question, you might get it. Okay. So I'm sure you're not going to make mistake in that question. So I think I made it easy. Try, try to break the coconut with the dumbbell or barrel or with the whip. Finished. Okay. This one just now we discussed the picture, the exam uh, they have asked in previous FMG, Ascaris egg. So now because they asked Ascaris lumbricoides, before because they already asked. See, whenever when there's a round worm, round worm is big list. All we discussed, there's a big list of round worm we have. But whenever in Mota, when there's a round worm, it's Ascaris, they say. Okay, but you just remember Ascaris only. You don't mix with them. It's a, it's, a, it's a part of a round worm. Okay. Now, Ascaris, what you do is that you see two eggs. I told there's a uh, this is fertilized egg and this is unfertilized. Fertilized egg means they have what space? If there is a space, whenever there is a space, if there's this crescentic space, and this crescentic space positive, then it is uh, fertilized. If there's no space, that's not. Okay. And again, fertilized egg, have for have, have for, this will float. This egg will float. Fertilized egg will float. Okay. There's a space positive, floating positive. But here, unfertilized, no space, no float. No space, no float. That means every no, no, no will come in non-fertilized. Non-fertilized is easy. So even if you forgot to also, if they didn't give the picture and they ask you to differentiate between fertilized and non-fertilized egg, so this is the thing. No space, no fertilized. Okay. Uh, it doesn't make any secret. Egg is an egg only. But if, if for examination to continue with that's fertilized, non fertilized, just remember this one. Okay. So Ascaris is easy. I'm not going to push you there. Okay. Now, next one. What is this one? Uh, this is the this is the egg of the hookworm. Yes, hookworm. So hookworm means when we talk about hookworm, you remember which are the worms you're doing? Hookworm means which are the two parasites you're including? You're including the ancyclostoma, 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 and other one is your. It's your nicotter. Nicotter, 
americanus okay nicator so these two are called the hookworms so hookworm what if you see this hexacanth embryo you know it's almost like a six embryos inside okay this hexacanth embryo that is the this a clear space with hexacanth embryo that is hookworm that's it okay hexacanth embryo that's it this much only if they give a picture like this please see the picture very carefully the biggest one is ascaris ascaris is the biggest egg and after that comes all this hookworm and these are other things are very tiny mini Okay, so don't don't uh, confuse with this. So you must know. And who uh, may you you know about the Chandler? I'm, I'm sure in PSM they must have talked about the Chandler index. Chandler index is how much? The egg should be more than how much in the Chandler index? Chandler Chandler index in Chandler index. You're talking about the Hookworm X, where it should be more than 300, more than 300 per gram per uh, stool. Car. Okay, measurement. I I can't tell the measurement, but remember that more than 300 means that is a public health problem. Okay, that is one question they might ask you. Okay, that's all. So this much only. I'm going to stress. Okay, so almost we covered the X part. These are the X we have. They can't ask anything outside of this, but this X means only these are the X commonly we see in a laboratory. So from stool sample, if these things comes, you have to think about this. Okay, got it? Yeah. Next. Now, look at this. This is also another inter interesting question. Ah, yeah. Look at here. A 35 year female, female complain of uh, pain after sex, dyspareunia, and a fishy smell discharge. Okay. Pain after sex and fishy smell discharge. A sample was collected and Jimsa stain was shown, identified the costive agent. So, what is the diagnosis? First of all, the diagnosis could be. Uh, what do you think? It's a uh, pain after the sex and fishy smell discharge. It can be cervicitis or vaginitis. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's go more. This fishy smell discharge. These things happens more in the vaginitis only. Okay, vaginal discharge. That is usually vaginal discharge. Okay, vaginal discharge. So vaginal. When you talk about vaginal discharge, there are three things. Three things important. What are they? One is your candidiasis. 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 One is your candidiasis. Other one is what your bacterial vaginosis. And other one is your TB. Trichomonas vaginalis. Candidiasis is caused by candida. Bacterial vaginosis is caused by Garnerella. It's a bacteria. Garnerella. Garnerella. See, the another beauty of bacterial vaginosis, one is fungi, one is bacteria. BV is a bacterial vaginosis, bacteria. And the other one is a parasite. Parasite, right? That's a TV. TV is trichomonas vaginalis. Trichomonas vaginalis. Now, this is a clue. First clue. Now, you will answer me. So what is this? See the picture. What do you think? What is the picture given there? What is the picture given there? So your uh, it's a vaginal discharge, but whopper, you have a fishy smell discharge is there. Now to identify, if it is a fishy smell discharge, I can uh, cut out the candida because candida means just a curdy discharge. It's a curdy white discharge. Nothing curdy white discharge. Okay, but BV TV it can be. I will confuse with this because in both the things though see, though TV trichomonas vaginalis it is sort of greenish. You know the 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 discharge is greenish. Uh, sort of greenish discharge, okay, greenish sort of what's a purulent greenish discharge, you can say, okay, but your BV is very thin discharge, it's very thin, sort of very thin, sometimes fishy also, thin fishy discharge, okay, thin fishy type of discharge, but that is not enough, just with the smell of discharge, you can't see, so you have to check it out, so they did a gymsa, what is this, is this a bacteria? No, how it can be a bacteria, bacteria is usually rod or sata, neither caucus or sata, so that is what is out, and if it is a candida, candida may I should see a budding yeast cell, I should see, right? In candida, I should see a budding yeast cell. In bacteria vaginosis, I should see the gram positive gram negative rods, I should see. I'm not seeing. So that means it is a parasite. So this is one clue. This is enough. Okay, this flow. And now look at the shape. Look at the shape. It looks like a what? It looks like a yeah, it is, it is like uh 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 if you say uh, uh like a what can you tell? More like it, it is, it, it looks like a giardia, but it's not giardia. So it is trichomonas vaginalis. So how to identify this? How to differentiate trichomonas with this? Both are like a pear shaped only. Both are looks like a pear shaped giardia and gymnas. But in giardia, if you see, there will be two nucleus. It's like an angry man face. Angry man face with, you know, four pass of flagella, whatever. But in trichomonas vaginalis, you see only single nucleus. That's another thing. Okay. You will see what? Single nucleus. Okay, this is a very, very important question. So now we have to know about trichomonas vaginalis. So there's a single nuclei and there is a uh, one anterior and four pair of posterior that you can't see it and all. For you, the clue will be in exam is only when you see single nucleus. Why single nucleus? I'll give you the clue now. Trichomonas, very important topic. You should know the trichomonas very well. Now I'm coming here. Who is this girl you're seeing in this picture? This is our Trisha. This girl is Trisha, a South Indian actress. Okay, I'm not going to put Trisha's picture. It's just for some reason. This is a Trisha. You remember Trisha? Okay, Trichomonas. Trisha, Trichomonas. Look at her. How pretty she is. She has, if you just look at her, two things you can see. One is her beautiful, what? Eyelash. 
She has a pretty beautiful eyelash and look at the diamonds, beautiful diamonds. Okay, let's let's first talk about Trisha and then we'll come to all the things which I want to say. Beautiful eyelash, beautiful diamond. And what's her favorite food? She likes a lot of strawberry. She loves strawberry. She's on diet, so she's loving strawberry. And here what she see? Green veggies. You see all the green. She loves green. Green and strawberry for her fitness. She's always single, single, single. Every time she's single. I don't know why. Rana left her. Rana Dupit left her and she ran, he ran away. Still she's single. Why she's single? Because single. Uh, okay, single. Let's stop there. I'm going to come there. There are a lot of singles we're going to talk. Now let's go to a topic. Sir, I the topic You will go to the interesting part. Why eyelash and diamond? The media name is lash media. The media, there's two culture media for trichomonas vagina. It's lash media, diamonds media. If you forget, do not forget, but if you forget, there are so many, I know there's so many doctors, I know there are so many microbes, so many 19 subjects, so many theory revised. So you have to make few things easy, simple, that it will be in your fingertips. Okay, and trichomonas vagina is important, especially when you're going to become gynecologist or a dermatologist. You'll have plenty of cases coming with this. So at least these things should be in your fingertips, right? Okay. So diamonds media, diamonds media, lash media, lash media. She's pretty, beautiful. Okay. Now, why strawberry? The name is strawberry vagina. Strawberry vagina is very, very characteristic for this picture. They can give you and tell you. If you see a strawberry vagina, who likes strawberry? Trisha likes strawberry. So tree, tree, Trisha for trichomonas vagina. So you're going to answer. Okay. Strawberry vagina means it's your, this thing. Okay. There are so many other strawberries. Strawberry ka, strawberry vagina, trichomonas vaginalis. Very good. But there is also, you remember strawberry tongue? We have a condition called strawberry tongue. We have a condition called strawberry lips. We have a condition called strawberry nose. Sir, it's not strawberry. Yes, micro is fun. Micro is full of stuff. Micro is not boring. That's what I'm saying. It's fun if you read in a right way. Okay, so I'll make it easy. So tongue. Tongue se kya karogi? You know scarlet fever. That's scarlet fever. You never forget the scarlet fever. Scarlet fever is a lot of questions also. If you remember the toxin which is causing SPE toxin. SPE toxin which is that streptococcus pyrogenic exotoxin is a super antigen. One, scarlet fever. That is Charleston test is there. One test we're doing. Scarlet and scarlet fever. Streptococcus pyrogenic is causing scarlet. That itself is a question. Scarlet fever. You have strawberry tongue. Lips. Lips where you say lips is not micro, but it's something else. You have to, you kiss what? You kiss the Kawasaki bike with your lips. So your stra strawberry lips, where it comes? In your Kawasaki disease. Kawasaki. Kawasaki disease. Okay, Kawasaki disease. So this is not our topic. It's a medicine topic, but I'm still bringing here strawberry. Strawberry nose, it's micro plus ENT mixed. It's in where? Rhinosporidiosis. 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 I'll try if I have a time. I'm going, I'll make a topic with ENT, micro, of all micro combination. Ka some questions. But let's see. Right now, you remember these are the strawberry things. Okay, I'm finished with strawberry. Okay, now let's go to Trisha. So she likes strawberry, strawberry vagina. Okay, got it. Green, why? Green is discharge. That's what you, you, you'll confuse with Candida me hoga, Gardnella me hoga, sir. Confusion or don't confuse green, green, strawberry, strawberries for Trisha, 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 Trichomonas vagina, Trichomonas vaginalis. You'll never ever forget. Even if you don't have time to revision, doesn't matter. You will remember lifelong. Okay. Yes. Now single. Single is why? Why always single? Single nucleus. One clue is single nucleus. See that helped you in answering a question because the picture was like this, right? And why another single? Because this is the only parasite. There is only trophozoite. Only trophozoite. There is no. There is no. There is no what? No cyst stage. Only trophozoite, no cyst. You understand? That's what she's single. She has only trophozoite and she has only single nucleus. Only, only, only. Okay, got it? Easy. So this much is your trichomonas vaginalis. You will not make any single mistake. I'm sure you'll get it, score it. And one more, one more clue I'm going to give you. One more clue is that uh, for uh, in the motility. You remember T for trichomonas, T for twitching motility. Twitching motility. See, 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 see why I'm coming here because that question is definitely going to make it. Trichomonas by T4, see, it's a twitching motility. Now, you know, motility is favorite question for all the microbiologists, right? So, T4, T twitching. Giardia, the motility is called, Mene kya bola? Gia girjata hai. Gia, the vegetable uh, from tree falls down. So, that girjata means what? It is falling down, falling down, falling down. So, this too will confuse you many times. So, please don't forget tennis racket. Ab kya karugi? Gia ka tennis racket se beat karugi. So, gia, gia will fall down. That's the clue I gave you. And then what happened? Gia ka sa steatoria. Ab gia ka hoge kya hoga? Apko mal absorption aiga, steatoria aiga. Okay, right? That's true, right? Nobody likes gia, right? So, those are the clue I'm giving for gia. So, don't confuse recommended because both look similar. So, that's what I'm saying. Okay. And what's the treatment? Of course, you're going to treat the... Uh, a trichomonas vaginalis with a metronidazole. Of course, for that sake, GRD also metronidazole. Okay, metronidazole, both the partners. Okay, GRD, trichomonas, Trisha and her boyfriend. Both have to take 
metronidazole. Don't forget. Very simple. Your trichomonasome, you never make a mistake. Okay. Very good. Now, next question. Another beautiful question we got here. See, 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 that's, that's what I, I stressed on Trisha because you have a question again. And another year, what happened? They asked a female present with a foul smelling discharge. Foul smelling discharge. Aap ye foul smelling karke, aap kya socioge? You will think, ha, foul, na, it should be gardnerella, yeah? Gardnerella may foul smelling. No, because that's not specific. The smell, based on the smell, you can uh, you can give provisional diagnosis, but you can't confirm. Because what happened on the wet mount? They saw motile trophozoid. So, vagina may motile trophozoid means there is only one parasite that is your gardener. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just I made a mistake. Sorry. That is your, what is not gardener? That is your trichomonas vaginalis. Okay, trichomonas vaginalis. Gardener is not out because gardener is a bacteria. When you do gram stain, you will do what criteria? Amcell's criteria. Nugent's criteria, Amsel and Nugent, right? Nugent's criteria. One is a clinical and one is the gram stain. This is a gram criteria. This is a micro criteria, Amsel. Amsel based on what? The you you will do you will check the pH. pH should be more than 4.5. And then what happened? You put the 10 percentage KOH. You will put uh, that is called what? Can 10 percent? There's a fishy order. That is called what? Whiff test. You'll do a whiff test. Whiff test. Whiff test. And because see, I'm going to stress this question because you will uh, BV is important. Bacterial vaginosis is also important. You can have questions from there. Okay. So let's make like this. BV also let's revise a fast. pH should be more than 4.5. Okay. Less than 4.5 is for candida. So pH should be up discharge. Ko amsel mein, apko you get a discharge. A discharge ka pH should be more than 4.5. When you add 10 percent KOH solution, you'll get a fishy order. That is called what? Whiff test. That is a question. Whiff test is for gardenerella, not for trichomonas vagina. Mene bola tatrisha ko visko koi link hi nahi hai. Okay. Another one is what? You see clue cells. Clue cells. That's also a question. Clue cells. Clue cells. Okay. Clue cells is basically what happened. Your epithelial cell it's fully occupied by this Garnerella. Garnerella kya karega? O pura epithelial circuit, it will demarcate the uh, border. Aapka epithelial circuit border nahi milega. You will see only the epithelial cell surrounding the thing. Okay, like this. That's a clue cell. This much. This much. Okay. Clue cell, whiff test means Garnerella. Because every time they're asking trichomonas vaginal, so this time you might be having a Garnerella question. So please remember the two criteria, Amsel's criteria, Nugent's criteria. Amsel's criteria may pH should be more than 4.5. You add 10% K, which you get a fishy order will come. Very bad smell, false smell. And then you get a clue cell. Got it? Very, very simple. Based on that, you'll do a grading. Okay? You got it. You'll not make a mistake. Nugent's criteria is very simple. What we do, we are doing gram stain. We do a gram stain. Kya hoga? Aapko jada gardnerella. There will be increased gardnerella. And one more species, what? Mobiluncus. Gardnerella and mobiluncus. Mobiluncus. These species will go very high. And your original bacteria, lactobacilli. Lactobacilli is otherwise called what? Gynecological padai kare hoga, dodrolins bacilli, which is a normal bacilli. A kam ho jayega. That's the clue. Based on that, you put a grade. If it is more than seven, then that is bacterial vaginosis. More than seven, it is Nugent's criteria. Okay. Amsel's criteria, Nugent's criteria. Okay. That's it. Okay. Important. So please remember because trichomonas vaginosis both bo puchoke. So if their microbiologists are tired, then he might shift to the gardeneral. So gardeneral ami ye yad karna hi hai. Clue cells ka never forget. Garden me clue hai. You have a clue in garden. Garden me kya hoga? Fishy order aayega. Jab koi ajkal Delhi me koi garden me jaake baito, you'll get what very fishy order because you're pouring 10 percent KOH. That's a whiff test. Okay. Just it's my interpretation. Okay. And then pH will be more than 4.5. Please don't forget. Okay. Very simple gynecological point of view also and from microbiological point of view also. Okay. Microbiological point of view. Just don't forget. Gardnerella mobilincus go high and lactobacillus comes down. That's the criteria. Very very simple. Candidiasis will not come here because candida me false smell nahi. Uska curdy white discharge hota hai. Okay, and with the motile trophozoite, you don't see, you see what? Budding yeast cell. In candida you will see budding yeast cell. Chlamydia, definitely not, uh, it, uh, it doesn't have this picture. I mean, motile is out. Even false discharge also possible, service adjustment possible. But again, wet mode motile trophozoite is not for chlamydia. Okay, that's it. So, we are going to talk this. Finished, okay? So, we have finished the vaginal discharge completely, almost done. Now, we will do next one. What is this parasite? This is my favorite question, and this is my question, okay? You will remember now why. The parasite that enters through the feet. Feet. feet means bare feet. Yeah, bare feet. Bare feet. Yes, see, always go in a clue. Bare feet. Me, kon walk karke jayega? Bare feet me. Who walks? I walk. Me. Who, who? What is my name? Sandy. People call me Sandy, right? They call me Sandy. Santosh Sandy. So, I walk bare feet. Remember, I walk bare feet. Okay? So, I don't have shoe. I'm poor. So, I walk in bare feet. So, what is the S stands for? Strongyloides. Strongyloides. See, last moment revision. Don't forget this is the way you're going to remember. 
Sandy walks in the, or if you don't remember, you I'm sure you guys have a friend called Sandy. Sandy walks in bare feet. He's not having shoes. Okay. Strongyloides, otherwise, ancyclostoma, poor Sandy walks in the ancyclostoma, N for necator, necator. The parasite will enter through the feet, not through the oral, through the feet. So S for strongyloides, ancyclostoma. So look at the option enterobites. No, or a pick over a root, you know, enterobiasis, pin one, pick over a strongyloides. Yes, I got it. Strongyloides. Now, here, you can confuse mat karna. You can ascaris mat dalna. Okay, ascaris is a different story. These, the best buddies of San or so, the Sandy, San is day three or the best buddies. Okay, San, strongyloides, ancyclo, and necator. But isme ancyclo, necator will become hookworm. We call it hookworm also, but strongly is out. But Tino case, they walk barefoot. Okay. Ancestor, ancestor, and Got it? Okay. Got it? This is important. But these three, Entrobias, Ascaris, Trichoid, if shortcut, they go E A T, E A T, eat, eat, madhab, eating the egg. So, egg ingestion, egg intake, egg that is fico oral, right? Fico oral root. The fico oral root, egg intake means these three Entrobias, Ascaris, and Trichuris, Trichoria. Okay. Barefoot is Sandy, sandy, sandy. Feet, feet, feet. Sandy, sandy, sandy. S for strong is the S for ancestor. N for negative Americans. Wow, guys, parasite is super easy. Micro is very, very easy. If you just go through this only, if you have good revision with me for one or two classes, it's it's going to be super duper easy for you guys. Okay, that's all I can do. I hope all the doctors you will uh, do great in this coming exam. Okay, I pray God. Yeah. Next, finish. We finish the parasitology. All important things are covered. Okay. Now, mycology. Now, let's go to mycology. Another interesting topic. So, now look at this. This is another headache topic. I know you, when you see this word, epidermophyton, trichophyton, I know you feel like vomiting, right? I know that. I know that you guys feel like vomiting. No, not at all. You don't have to feel like vomiting at all. It's very, very, very easy topic. First of all, you know, there's something before going, uh, false about epidermophyton. We'll come here before going this. Let's let's discuss a little bit. That's better. I'll give, so I'll give you super duper easy uh, things out remember dermatophytes let's say dermatophytes dermatophytes are something which is causes you superficial skin infection basically we call ringworm ringworm is everyone we has we summer starts when we start to sweat you know reach here which in your axilla which in a groin region in your feet every those itching they are the ringworm so they are caused by they are caused by three things what are they one is your trichophyton 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 just uh you just try to uh, you don't have mug and all just remember trichophyton we have and other one is we have is what epidermophyton 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 okay and other one is your microsporum micro s p o r u m okay clue 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 first thing you should know which one is affecting you see dermatophytes is also once again once again i'm coming there yeah uh dermatophyte is also what you call it as tinea all your tinea not that tinea this is i'm talking about tinea uh, corporis tinea capitis tinea uh, groin tinea cruris tinea pedis those tinea's okay okay not the tinea solely but tinea so that is parasite now we are in another tinea okay tinea is a ringworm this is a ringworm okay now trichophyton means see try hair try means what it affects your skin nail hair so more derma related yeah so that's first question this is a question try means three skin Nail, hair, agya. Epidermophytans, iska kese yaad kuru? Skin to sab mein common hai. Because this is skin infection. So skin, 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 tino mein dal do. Okay. Abhi, epidermophyton mein skin and epidermophyton. Skin ke saath kya attach rap? End mein dekho kya hai aapko? Nail hai. So nail. But ye bhi sir confused nora sa kese yaad kuru? Hair kyu nahi hai? Then, aapka epidermophyton mein ke N hai. So N for nail. Ho gaya? Skin ke saath nail attached hai. Phir obi apko confusion ho to. Look at the last word N. N for nail. Got it? Easy. Super easy. Microsporon. So nail is gone to epidermophyton. So the left is hair. So this also cause you confusion. Hair kaise hota hai? Micro hair. Micro hair. Very simple. Micro hair. Hair so micro. Aaj kal to bada bal kisi ko nahi hai. Aaj bal is always nowadays small. We have all hair problem. So micro hair. Got it? That will itself be a question. But now, the most interesting point is not that. They will ask you micrological point of diagnosis. How you will make a diagnosis in microscopy? When you have tinea, you scrap the lesion, you put a KOH and see under microscopy. Or you do a LPCB. So when you do a LPCB, I'm sorry. Now, when you do an LPCB, oh, sorry, it's copied twice. Huh? Yeah. So when you do an LPCB, you will get this picture. LPCB, lactophenol cotton blue. Okay, this is a lactophenol cotton blue. 
Okay, this is the lactophenol cotton blue. You know, that's a specific stain, cotton blue. Okay, blue, this is blue, blue, blue. So everything is blue here. So now we have to identify, this is the important thing. So I'll give you a clue. No need to worry at all, okay? I'm here to help you guys, so don't worry. Okay, so now listen, the first one is trichophyton. Trichophyton affects, I already told you, it affects all the skin, hair, and nail, all the you know. Then next one is your, this is your epidermophyton. Epidermophyton, epidermophyton, okay, epidermophyton. Okay, and the last one is your microsporum. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. So, this is all, these pictures, what I've shown, these are macroconidia. These are macroconidia. These are macroconidia. And also we have called microconidias. Microconidias. Okay, microconidia and macroconidia. Let me change the color. Now, let's start. Uh, yeah. Trichophyton, tri. Aap kya karogi? When you're in, suppose you're starting your LKG in your school days, what did you do? You try to write with what? You try to write with pencil, not the pen. Pencil needs, see the nature of it, So try it with pencil only. Always you try with pencil only, na? So pencil-shaped macroconidia. When you have a pencil-shaped macroconidia, it is trichophyton. What do you want? One is tri 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 That's the difference to that. Parasit may try, try to break the coconut with what? Barrel or dumbbell or whip. Whip worm. Oh, yeah. Another try is try with your pencil. Epidermophyton, try with your pencil. Hey, this question was asked in a previous exam. Pencil-shaped macrocodia seen in pen. Uh, sorry, pencil shape. Pen. Yeah, pencil. Pencil kya kaha tha? Pencil means try. Trichophyton. Got it? You got one answer. Epidermophyton. Epidermophyton, how to remember? If you come to South India, you go to Kerala, Tamil Nadu, wherever. Whenever there's a club, uska owner hoga ebi. AB club, you know, a lot of AB club is there. AB, AB, he will be the head of the, you go to the any club and ask owner, kone, they will say AB. So AB means club, AB, Nasser, we call AB, Nasser. that's AB, short form is AB. AB means club, club, club. So epidermophyton means club shaped. Even if you forgot the name say clue, hoiga, you remember club, hai to, kiske paas club hai? AB, Nasser ke paas, AB ke paas. So this is the club shape. See, yeah, but of course I show the picture. See, ye to dekho. The, you look like, these are like a pencil. This are like a pencil tip, no? That's what's called pencil shape. This is like a club. A club means it's like this, no? It's like this. Club ke andar dekho, kitna doors hai. If you forgot also, remember, ye club hai. Club ke andar jane ke liye dekho, kitna doors hai. Okay, got it? That's the way you're going to remember, guys. Otherwise, I don't believe you have so many subjects. You'll end, you'll be confused. So my first subject, which is tough. I know people say that, but it's not tough. It is really, really easy, doctors. Believe me, okay? Okay, now let's go. So club shaped is Ebenezer, you got it. So you're not making mistake. It is be easy. I want this microbiology to be in your pocket, not in your brain, in your pocket. Okay. So you will not make any of these questions because you never make mistakes. It will not question, will not come out of this. Okay. You guys will do it. Okay. So more time for other subjects, less time for my micro. That's the thing I wanted you guys. Okay. So I wanted this to be very easy and anytime you remember. Okay. Okay. Now microsporin. Microsporin, ek to mene clue de de skin and hair, micro hair. Not only micro hair, we also have what? Micro spin, micro spin, you know, micro may micro biology may make the micro hair. I give you clue micro hair, micro to micro hair, hair to ball to micro hair. Those are micro spin, micro biology. May, if you come and see everything, the spinning machines are called micro biology spin, micro spin, spin, spinning machines. So, spin, micro spin, or micro spindle, which we are the So, this is spindle, so micro spindle, micro spindle. Yeah, yes, you will forget, you will not make mistake. This is enough, right. So you don't need clue, no need pneumonia, pneumonia, kuch nahi hai. Just this is the clue, the funny, easy way to remember your micro. Try, try with a pencil. Epi, Epi has a club, micro, micro hair, micro spin. Bas, oh yeah. Abhi ye microcondia kaan sa hai? Say microcondia is with their small, tiny stretches. But yaad karo, microcondia is present only in trichophyton. Trichophyton, only trichophyton has the microconidia. Ye in dono epiderma microform mein nahi hai or rare. Negative or it is very rare. You don't see it. Rare or it's not there. Okay. That's what micro mein micro nahi hai. Remember like that. Micro mein micro nahi hai. That's the clue. Okay. Micro mein micro nahi hai. But trichophyton has both micro and micro -conidia. Yeah. That's, that's all. This is the clue for you. This is it. Okay. Easy, easy. Super duper easy. So don't make mistake guys. You will definitely expect one question from me. I see every year there's a pattern. They're asking from trichophyton, epidermatophyton, microsporin. See, you know, yaad Dermatophytes, they're called dermatophytes. They're called superficial skin infections. Uh, superficial fungal skin infections. Okay. Got it? Okay. Next. This, uh, what is this Rangoli media? I call this Rangoli media, but it's not Rangoli media. You have to tell now. So tell me. So what is the, uh, the following media is used for culture of? culture this is the media so what do you see you see all colorful so anything colorful that is called what colorful means that is 
chrome agar yes that's the chrome agar chrome 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 c for c for what c for not chocolate c for not candy c for candida okay c for candida so chrome agar it's for candida you know that okay candida is the thing now we'll talk about a little bit kind of before that cryptococcus if they question me if the crypt they want to alter us which is the special meaning for this word bird seed agar or niger seed bird seed or niger seed so black black hota hai niger seed it produces cryptococcus produce melanin pigment that's what niger seed and of course the bird also you know cryptococcus care pgn and again it is the most common cause of what meningitis in hiv patient don't forget and this is the only capsulator fungi cryptococcus is fun i love cryptococcus because cryptococcus is a very important question can be so only capsulator cryptococcus so abhi we are not going there we are going to candida and one thing important both are is candida and crypto both are east okay both are east don't forget one is candida is called it's called pseudo east it's called pseudo east but Cryptococcus called true is. This is the only true is. This is the only true is, and this is the only fungi that has capsule. Okay, and this is the only thing just melanin production. Bird seed agar, nigger seed agar culture is the specific media for cryptococcus. Got it? Capsulated. Okay, candida. But for here, for us, this question it's a chrome agar, so it is a candida. Now, little bit revision. Candida question has been not asked past few exam. This time you can expect. So any of this picture comes. So what is the first one I'm seeing there? Candida. Candida will be this is a this is a vaginal candidiasis, vulva vaginal candidiasis. So remember, we already spoke about it. It's one of the causes for one of the for vaginal distress candidiasis. So this is a curdy or cheesy. If they word curdy or cheesy, I got to C for C, C for candida, ana chahiye. Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. And one more thing, candidiasis means the pH will be less than four point five. Please remember, this was also asked in a question. Acidic pH, strong acidic pH will be only for the candida. Okay, candida. Okay, curdy or cheesy white discharge one, and this is what oral thrush. Oral thrush. What about oral leukoplakia? Sir, ये तो ठीक है. What about oral leukoplakia? ये कौन करता है? Oral leukoplakia. You have any idea? Leukoplakia. Remember? Any clue? 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 Epstein Barr. Our Epstein Barr. Paul Bunnell. Don't forget Paul Bunnell. Our Paul Walker. Paul Walker का oral leukoplakia था. He was kissing infectious mononucleosis. Paul Walker was kissing his girlfriend. He got a kissing disease, infectious mononucleosis, and also what he got a oral leukoplakia and list of cancer. Now, especially gastric carcinoma and your and your nasopharyngeal carcinoma. That is Epstein Barr virus. Don't forget. Okay, that's totally different story. I'm not going to go there now. Okay, just clue. But oral thrush is for your candida. Okay, see two questions are covered now. Oral leukoplakia is Epstein Barr virus. Oral thrush of candida. White color. Anything white? Candida. Okay. ये क्या है? This is a कैसे लग रहा है? Germ tube. Yes, germ tube. Even if you forgot also, I'm just bringing it here. Candida में germ tube भी है. All this fancy things have germ. Germ tube is basically called Reynolds Brown phenomena. Reynolds Broad phenomena, Reynolds Brody phenomena, Reynolds Brody phenomena. Okay, it is basically what you just take the culture and you put it in a, a plasma me daldo. You just put the culture uh, east candy east ka daldo. Then after four hours, if you check under the microscope, you will see there is this budding itself a germ growth hota hai. Germ, germ tube. That's called germ tube. This one is called germ tube. That's it. Okay. This is the uh, Reynolds Brown. Okay, Reynolds ka germ tube. Mr. Reynolds has candida. Remember, Reynolds has candida. Finished. Okay. What is this agar? This agar which you are seeing here, this is called SDA agar. This is the, you know, sir, yeast like colony. So that is SDA agar, sabrodextrose agar. Sabrodextrose agar for all fungi. It's not specific. It's for any fungi can grow. But its pH is important. They have asked you then. Yes for 5.6. They go, yes for S, yes and 5, 6 up in the same, same lag raha hai. Ha same thing like right so that you'll remember right so ph is 5.6 that just remember i'm not sure how much this for pg they was but then i don't know for your fmg just because it's revision you're not going to lose anything right so just yes yes okay got it now this one is your chrome agar chrome agar is for your candida right that's it so okay so why this are doing see these all are to identify the speciation even a germ tube it is specific for candida albicans albicans ka specific not for other candida only for candida albicans that's what, okay? To identify candida albicans from other species, because we have so many parapsilases, glabrata, uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, multiple, uh, cruzy, so many species of that. So differentiate from that, you're doing candida albicans specific for germ tube and chrome agar also, you can differentiate uh, each species separately. Okay, that's it. These are the important things you have to know. Okay, now next one. So now your candida is over. Now what about this question? Look at this. Which of the following dimorphic fungi causes subcutaneous infection? First of all, is liye, hum kya karna? you should know what are 
what is the dimorphic fungi first of all first clue for dimorphic so dimorphic fungi kya kya hose kaise yaad karna next one subcutaneous infection subcutaneous infection causing subcutaneous infection causing in uh, fungi so dimorphic mein i my you you guys already know that i give the clue for dimorphic means everything katarna kawala cheez the bad, the dangerous things okay what are they hit blast hit karo blast karo cough karo para cough karo then pen karo pen be pen se bhi kisko maar sakte ho pen and then other one is your spot hit blast cough para cough pen spot okay that's the clue sir ye kya sir i i hope uh, even if you have pneumonia can you feel remember no problem you remember like that but i can't i can't because in 19 subject you have how many thousands of pneumonics i don't know at end you will confuse the, uh, not everyone i'm saying for some of the students who really struggle with the micro okay so for those students for those students please this is the way how i remember so if it's comfortable excuse me if it's comfortable for you please do it okay so hit means histoplasma histoplasmosis histoplasma blastus blastomic blastomyces blastomycosis or blastomyces blastomyces cockpox cockidiosis cockidiodis cockidiodis okay para means para cockidiosis para cockidiosis pen penicillium penicillium marnifi or thaleromyces i'll come there <coughs> spot for sporothrix sporothrix okay and they clue ho gaya subcutaneous kaise yaad karna subcutaneous mein there is a clue there is m and c clue hai but with that you know for subcutaneous infection MRCS. You have to do MRCS if you want to know the subcutaneous infection of the, the um, of the fungi. You should do MRCS. Okay, it's little bit thing, but uh, say, yeah, there's no other way. You have to remember only. There is no other way. So what are this subcutaneous infection causing? Or my say toma, my say toma. Other one is R for rhinosporidiosis, rhinosporidiosis. C for chromoblastomyces. Yes, for sporothrix. Ah, yeah. The, you can expect this question. Dimorphic conditions too. Ka classification is mandatory. That's what you should know. The shortcut. There is no other way. Here you can't skip. I'm sorry. I can't skip for you. You have to hit plus cock para. You will remember dimorphic. But subcutaneous ka M R C S have to remember. They asked many times this question. So, in this me, what is the question? They said it's a dimorphic fungi and subcutaneous infection. Hona chahiye. So you see which one is here? Only your sporothrix. स्पोरोथ्रिक्स यहां पर भी है यहां पर भी है सो दैट इज दंसर सो दैट इज दी ओनली डायमोफिक फंजे विच इज कॉसिंग सब कुछ इन्फेक्शन सो मार्केट स्पोरोथ्रिक्स ये कौन है आंसर Got it? This is your answer. Very very simple. So uh, many time I've seen few exam me they give chromoblastomycosis in dimorphic fungi to ident they'll give you identify which of the five dimorphic fungi except so in except me it will be chromoblastomycosis not coccidiosis coccidio that's what I said cock paracock or dimorphic. Chromoblast ni chromoblast blast is there but not chromoblast remember chromoblast is not dimorphic so that is also question they can ask so this sporothrix is not very important okay got it that's what I want to stress now a little bit about dimorphic uh, your sporothrix ka because sporothrix frequently asked so I don't know they can ask anything from sporothrix so let's do a little bit of sporothrix so ye, what are you seeing this is the gardener gardener when you say gardener this is that is your sporothrix right sporothrix You also call Gardner's disease. Gardner's disease, right? Gardner's disease. And what are things you're seeing? First thing, so usually it comes in the gum, Himalayan mountain area. Whoever works with a rose garden, whoever they works with a rose garden, because what happened? Rose garden ka prick hai na? It hits the arms, especially legs, legs and arms also, upper arm also. But in lower arm, what do you call? Row of ulcers. Is a row of ulcers along the lymphatic, along the lymphatic. Is a question I got to. You have to think. Kiska leg ki ab yaad karogi? This. Gardeners, you have to remember this gardeners' ka uh, leg. Okay, there's row of ulcers along the lymphatic leg. Like this, if you see, this is sporothrix shankai. Okay, got it? Yes. If they give picture like this, now when you you do you take the sample and then you do what? You do a LPCB. When you do LPCB, if you see this rose appearance, rose like appearance. Rose है तो आपका everything rose that's what is easy. Rose means everything gardener, gardener or sporothrix, sporothrix. Okay, sporothrix a uh, gardener's disease. What is this? This is important question. They can ask you. What is this question? What is the the what is the body called? It's called asteroid body. Asteroid body. It looks like asteroid, na? Like a star. So asteroid. Asteroid body. There are many things important with this gardener. This gardener. Why you put a bike here? Is ke pas kya hai? Splendor bike. Gardener has splendor bike also. Don't forget he has a splendor bike. 
there is some phenomena called splendor hopley phenomena splendor hopley splendor hopley hopley phenomena it is basically it is more uh, uh, it's a pathological uh, sign what happens when the body is from this is small small pieces of things uh, that's eosinophilic deposition sort of thing that is the splendor hopley phenomena this is also seen in your israel guys who is israel guys actinomyces israel actinomyces also has this phenomena but remember gardner also has a gardner ke pas splendor bike hai splendor bike okay gardner ke pas dusra kiske pas active israeli guys that means actinomyces you will see in my actinomyces class ka i don't want to bring so too much for you guys already you must be burdened so just let's stick to the splendor bike kiske gardner ke pas hai aur gardner ka kya karta hai this some of the few it looks like a cigar bundle so gardner also smokes cigars Don't forget, not only your leprosy guy. Lepers may be lepers. Lepers eat. They have smoke cigar and they eat gobi. Gobi like appearance. Lepers. Gobi like appearance and uh, cigar uh, appearance is seen in. They are also in uh, leprosy. You see here also cigar. Gardener ko bhi kabi boring hota hai na. He smokes a cigar. Cigar appearance. Yeah, question. See the see the the cigar appearance. Asteroid body. Asteroid is like a rose. That's what I'm thinking. Asteroid na. Wo he, he the gardeners they look at the asthma. They look at the stars. Okay. They keep on looking at the stars. Or flower itself is looking like a star only na. So you get a moment like that. Anything like a flower, whatever. Anything rose flower. These things it comes. You think about spirochetes. Very simple. Okay. This is this is basically an LPCB strain, and this is a biopsy strain. They took the biopsy and they did the biopsy strain, and they identified this. Okay, got it. Okay, next. Now look at this. Now dimorphic fungi. A few things you must must know because picture will come. That's what I'm just stressing. It's already in my previous revision. Me, I've taught it. Once again, I'm going nothing wrong in it. So first one, what you're seeing is a histoplasma. This is a histoplasma. In histoplasma, what I think this one, this tiny. If you see this small, tiny, tiny, tiny budding cells. Okay, this tiny budding is this tiny in histoplasma. Tiny budding cells. Tiny budding cells. Tiny budding yeast cells. Okay, yeast cells. If you see, okay, most of that come. This question will come. They will ask. It's called. How to remember? You know, histoplasma. How to remember histoplasma? You know, the there was this boyfriend. The boyfriend was saying his girlfriend, "Hi, baby." He was saying to a girlfriend, "Hi, darling." Not baby. Hi, darling. Okay. He was saying, "Hi, darling. Hi, darling. Let's go to Ohio or Mississippi. Mississippi, and let's do some romance in caves." He's saying, "Let's do some romance in caves." But the girlfriend, you know, वो क्या reply करती है? No, darling. She says, "No, darling. Cave में क्या है? There is a bat. Cave में bat है. Bat will give you TB." And the plan was cancelled finally. Got it, guys? You must be like, "What this sir is a boy? He's giving a, a movie director or what? He's giving all new, new crazy things." No, it's not a crazy thing. Now you will understand why I said this. Everything there is a clue. Darling, because it's called Darling disease. Okay, question. It's also called Ohio Valley or Mississippi disease. Question. Also called Caveman's disease. Question. And uh, bat. Bat is the cause of this disease. Any birds, but usually it's the bat. Bat. Okay, remember that bat is a cause of histoplasma. And TB because the disease looks similar to TB. That's a question. And not only TB. TB tuberculate conidia. Tuberculate. Tuberculate conidia. This is the tuberculate conidia. What you see here, this is the tuberculate. Tuberculate conidia. Tuberculate conidia. Tuberculate conidia. Okay, that is also important. It comes here. Okay, got it? Yes. Now, yeah. Now, this is the tuberculate conidia. This is all our questions. This question, tuberculate conidia, was asked in uh, in uh, your previous some uh, uh, FMG co exam. It came some year. It has come. So that's why I'm stressing. Okay, got it? Easy. This one, this one. You look at this. The shape. Look at what you are seeing. You are seeing eight. Eight. Right? Eight. Ko thoda tilt karo. That is B. Right? So blastomyces. 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 Ka kaise yaad karna? It is called wide based, wide based budding yeast cells. Wide based budding yeast cells. Wide based budding yeast. Budding yeast cell, but it will be wide based. Okay. Got it. Uh, so that's okay. Wide based budding yeast cell plus who will do the blast? Just guess who will after cricket match who will like to have a blast? Our Gilchrist, our Gilchrist, after winning his match, he will go where to Chicago and have a blast. Of course, let him enjoy, you know. He should enjoy his life. So Gilchrist disease, Chicago or blasto, and where is Chicago? It's in North America. Or North America blastomyces, North America blastomyces. This all or. For Gilchrist, 
that is blastomyces okay blastomyces is gilchrist mr gilchrist after his cricket match winning is mega he goes to chicago to have blast there and that is in north america that's it blastomyces itna yaad karna aur kuch nahi very simple right yeah now next one this is the first one hit blast now we are coming to our cock cock is basically your cocidiomyces right it is your cocidiomyces i'm just changing the color so it will look different and nice for different different so cocidiosis 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 okay cocidiosis imitis we call cocidiosis cocidiosis see histoplasma capsulatum but capsule nahi hai remember pura naam histoplasma histoplasma capsule capsule nahi hai nahi hai nahi hai capsule is only for cryptococcus cryptococcus remember capsule is only for cryptococcus okay cocidiosis ka kaise yaad karna dekho aapko cock to aapko yaad hoga you know how the cock looks right a cock hence husband yeah hence husband cock ah this a cock cock usually kahan par baithta hai it sits on the barrel barrel ke upar baithta hai na barrel ah huh? barrel iska uh, naam bhi hai arthur cock ka naam hai arthur arthur cock ka okay? arthur cock barrel usko kya dete ho kaane ke liye spirul स्पोर्ट्स देते हो उसका खाने के लिए स्पोर्ट्स देते हो ठीक है स्पोर्ट्स ओके आर्थुर हाँ ये पूरा ये कॉक कहाँ पर है या आर्थुर कॉक कहाँ पर है डेसर्ट में है इस इन डेसर्ट उसका क्या हो गया उसका उसका क्या है इट गॉट वैली डेसर्ट वैली में है उसका क्या हो गया रोमैटिज्म डेसर्ट वैली रोमैटिज्म डेसर्ट वैली रोमैटिज्म इज इंपॉर्टेंट ओके गॉट इट नाउ लुक एट दिस नाउ यू हैव एवरीथिंग हेयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वन क्या दे रहे spherules with full of spores so that also if this picture comes cocidiosis imitis easy of course everything is cock 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 remember that cock is eating all these things okay and the disease ka naam kya hai desert valley rheumatism because this cock what happened desert mein tied hoga then it gets rheumatism bas so these are the things you going to remember okay yes now the fourth one this is para cocidiosis para cocidiosis cocidiosis to normal hai we spoke about now now para means kuch add karo side mein bas that's it okay you're going to add something on the side what is that cock cock ke side mein you add the budding cells like this okay so kaise shape hai how does it look like either mickey mouse this is the mickey mouse right let me change the color so it, it will look good change change yeah so this one is the mickey mouse mickey mouse sign okay mickey mouse sign or this is a o call this is a mickey mouse another one is to, it looks like a wheel so it looks like a cart wheel you can say cart wheel or you can say pilot's wheel or sailor's wheel bas sab paracock hai okay cart wheel pilot wheel sailor wheel all ye wheel 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 aata hai na everything will be paracock ek virus ka wheel hai cart wheel remember which virus What you do? Wheel का rotate करना है. Rota virus. Don't forget. Rota virus also can be a question. What is the shape of rota virus? Because you know, bullet तो आपने I last class remember that is what bullet तो dog का kill करोगे, मारोगे है ना? Space vehicle तो अदनान स्वामी ही goes in the space vehicle to space. But what about rota? Rota का होता है cart wheel. It's a wheel. That is also wheel cart wheel. So another wheel कहाँ पर है? एक तो rota virus का दूसरा cart wheel is seen in your para cocidiosis. Definite question. You in this this chart what I showed. Surely you'll have one question. I can assure you. If you don't get, I'm sorry, but ninety-nine point nine percent you can expect one question from this whatever I taught you now. Okay, so remember. And paracock is in South. This is uh, this is uh, South America. Uh, South America. It's also called South America blastomycosis. Okay, ESP. Remember ESP. South America blastomycosis. So don't forget. North America is the blastomycosis. South America is paracocidiosis. Paracock is in South America. <coughs> Mickey Mouse or Sailor or pilot wheel, any wheel, wheel, wheel. Again, that is that, that is your paracock. Okay. Now next one. This this will be very interesting because I'm sure this will be very easy for South Indian people. I don't know for you. You guys know our uh, South Indian, our famous actor Talai. Yeah. If you know him, then it will be easy. Talai is our Ajit Kumar, right? Talai. Okay. Talai. So let's start with the Talai. Talai has what? He has a 
he has bam uska ghar pe ke you know what happened thalai's house though he is very rich whatever rat is everywhere thalai ka ghar ke andar hai na bamboo rat aa gaya enter so what to do thalai was angry so he took immediately what he took is what broomstick he took his broomstick and also he took his painting brush kya mil raha hai wo sab lekar kya kya tha thalai ne aur uska pen bhi सब चीज है ना ब्रूम स्टिक पेंटिंग ब्रश पेन सबको उठा के ये रैट को मार दिया किल्ड ही किल्ड ओके ही मार मार मीन ही ट्राई टू बीट ओके ही ट्राई टू बीट इट्स बैट सो फिर क्या हो गया बैम्बू रैट का बट में रेड हो गया रेड कलर हो गया ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरी नो यस नाउ वेलकम सर ये क्या से इतना बड़ा कहानी बोल दिया यस आई एम कमिंग ताला बिकॉज इट्स अ टैलरोमाइसिस ताला टैलरोमाइसिस पहले व्हाट इज टू दिस टैलरोमाइसिस मार्निफी वी कॉल मार्निफी प्रीवियसली इट वाज कॉल्ड पेनिसिलियम प्रीवियसली इट इज कॉल्ड पेनिसिलियम नाउ व्हाट इज इट्स टैलरोमाइसिस सो दे कैन गिव बोथ दे कैन गिव पेनिसिलियम आल्सो और दे कैन टैलरोमाइसिस डोंट फॉरगेट पेन और तलाई और सेम पेन एंड तलाई आर ऑलवेज शार्प रिमेंबर आवर तलाई अजीत एंड पेन इज ऑलवेज शार्प ओके ओके सो पेनिसिलियम इसके नाम है पेनिसिलियम मार्निफी और मार डिड व्हाई डिड इट से मार बिकॉज़ मार्निफी इन केस इज वी फॉरगेट ओके बैम्बू रूट बिकॉज़ दैट इज द दैट इज द रीजन दैट इज द रिजर्वायर रिजर्वायर ऑफ दिस टैलरोमाइसिस मार्निफी दिस बैम्बू स्टिक एंड पेंटिंग ब्रश इज द इंपोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ एलपीसीबी मींस लुक एट दिस पिक्चर इट लुक्स लाइक अ बैम्बू और अ पेंटिंग ब्रश अपीयरेंस है ना लाइक दिस बैम्बू और पेंटिंग ब्रश अपीयरेंस so that's what that question so bamboo painting with kya yaad karne ka ki kisne kya hai kiske paas tha bamboo aur uh, painting brush tale ke paas tha tale ne kya kiya tha uske ghar pe kya hai tha bamboo rat aa gaya tha so uska piche marne ke liye he used it fir kya hua bamboo rat ka red ho gaya why i said red this is the one this is very few species produce pigment so red color pigment producing fungi red pigment so in stm media or any media which is produce red color pigment means it is your thalai thaleromyces thalai thalai thaleromyces or penicillium marnifi very simple aur kya chahiye ho gaya bada topic sabse important topic is finished and uh, sporothrix already I explained this is sporothrix ka okay yeah, sporothrix asteroid body splendor hopli phenomena asteroid body and splendor hopli phenomena yeah asteroid and splendor hopli once again sorry yeah splendor hopli splendor hopli and asteroid body rose appearance you know that i'm not going to talk it again again asteroid body yeah this you know okay fine next question now comes the another interesting question so here what is this question a forest worker had a trauma following which he present with the varicose growth varicose growth okay they just give only the name varicose varicose means it's like a what the growth is like a what kaapar in his leg in leg mein he in his beautiful leg he got this varicose growth and he is a forest worker something like a forest worker a farmer somewhere so due to some trauma he got it so what are the possibilities varicose growth mycetoma i would not say mycetoma why in mycetoma we already discussed in previous this thing we discussed mycetoma you have what you should have a sinus discharge there will be a swelling plus sinus discharge not the what there will not be what here it is more like a here it is like a war varicose means it's a warty warty growth na warty sporotrichus may no sporotrichus may just now we saw what is it you have row of ulcers along the lymphatic system row of ulcer not a varicose growth tromoblasto let come there botrymycosis it is like mycetoma we already talked it is caused by staph or is bottle staph ke pas kya hota hai bottle hota hai and botrymycosis is like mycetoma us may be you will have what sinus discharge etc etc not this thing that means your option is tromoblastomycosis tromoblastomycosis what you will have, you have what let's go there how it looks this is the picture this time you might have this exam they'll give you farmer went outside and he got a break and suddenly it happened then you what this warty lesions you're seeing here this all are because of that something have caused trauma and he got it so this is chromoblastomyces chromoblastomyces usually common for farmer like sporothrix for gardener gardener farmer they're almost same you know doesn't matter farmer so costive agent kya everything with fa fa fonchisie fonchisie you know fonchisie cladofiolophora there is fia fa 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 fiolophora farmer hai na fa fiolophora and clado fiolophora they will not ask that much but in case and exophiola also exo 
फा फा फियाला एक्सो फियाला फा 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 ओके एक्सो फियाला कौन सी चीज ऑल फा फा स्टेप्स विल कम इन द क्रोमोब्लास्टोमाइसिस ओके दैट्स वन क्वेश्चन प्लस वॉटिलेशन हो गया नाउ व्हाट हैपेंड द वॉट वाज टेकन एंड देन द स्मियर वाज मेड बायोप्सी वाज टेकन एंड द स्मियर वाज व्हाट यू सी दिस ब्यूटीफुल थिंग्स हियर exactly how does it look you don't even you don't even have to read the book just let's say you are first time seeing this picture so what are you going to say how does it look how does it look just tell oh look it looks like a something like a copper right like a coin right it looks like a copper coin exactly copper you know this is copper vessel is popular if you remember copper mein pani copper mein tumbler plate everything is copper copper so the copper so this is called copper penny first clue got copper penny कॉपर पेनी का दूसरा देर सो मेनी नेम्स इफ रिमेम्बर दैट्स आल्सो कॉल्ड मेडलर मेडलर पेन मेडलर बॉडीज कॉपर पेनी बॉडीज म्यूरेफॉर्म बॉडीज म्यूरेफॉर्म आल्सो ओके म्यूरेफॉर्म बॉडीज ओके कॉपर पेनी कॉपर पेनी मेडलर म्यूरेफॉर्म ओके ऑल दीस थिंग्स आर क्लासिक फॉर योर व्हिच वन योर क्रोमोब्लास्टोमाइसिस ओके मे कॉपर पेनी बॉडीज मेडलर बॉडीज म्यूरेफॉर्म बॉडीज All these things, anything they mostly they'll give you the picture, so don't worry. So when they give the picture, they'll identify this. Just remember this. Okay, copper penny, or medlar, or more from bodies. That's it. Okay, definite question, expected question. Please expect anything looks like copper. It is chrome plus chrome. Ka naam bhi dekho. Chrome itself it looks like a copper only. You don't even have a clue. Chrome, copper, all are sort of same only. Met, it's a metal. Chrome, metal, copper penny. Very simple. Okay, and chrome plus me very specific. But you see a you see what you see a watch like this chrome. Okay, that's it. Right. Now, next question. Okay, uh, what is it here? Here we see a HIV patient came. His CD4 count was less than 200. Okay, less than 200 means there are few infection less than 200. One is what toxoplasma. Other one is crypto. Other one is what cryptosporidia. Toxoplasma. These are few infections which is let me write here. Few infection which come in less than 200 or one is toxoplasma. Okay, another one is your crypto. Crypto. Cryptococcus, Cryptococcus, Toxoplasma. These are very, very common ones. Usually comes under less than two hundred. Me. So now what we have here? Uh, they gave. They already said Cryptococcal meningitis. Now what is the treatment? Okay, Cryptococcal meningitis is fine. So what is the treatment? The best treatment is what? Amphotericin. You give amphotericin, especially liposomal amphotericin. Liposomal amphotericin, which just goes inside and then it causes the uh, infection. Okay, that's it. So this you have to remember. Okay, Lipo liposomal amphotericin. Just painted the brain and it is a cure. Okay, that means cryptocal meningitis is important. So you already know what is cryptocal meningitis. It's the most common cause of meningitis in the HIV patient. Yeah, I'm not going to do too much. You already know in HIV patient, the most common cause of meningitis number one. Okay, cryptococcus. I'm talking about cryptococcus, cryptococcus neoformans. Okay, cryptococcus. Please remember, don't confuse crypto with cryptosporidium. Cryptosporidium is the most common cause of diarrhea. Cryptococcus is the most common cause of diarrhea in the HIV patient. But this is meningitis. This is meningitis in the HIV patient, and it's the only capsulated, only capsulated, only capsulated fungi. Okay, only capsulated fungi. And what else important here? PGNs. Usually. Because of the pigeons, the pigeons ka thing, no, the 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 fecus of the pigeon, that is the thing which is going to uh, cause this one. Okay, remember that. Okay, remember that pigeons and uh, uh, yeah, what else should I, yeah, and this is what what is the stain? You see the capsule swollen. That is the Indian ink for anything with capsule. No, so you do Indian ink or negrosin. Negrosin. Okay. This is called what? Negative staining. This is called negative staining. These are called as negative staining. Negative stain. Okay. These are called negative staining. Okay. Negative stain. Ah. And then this one. This is the card test. This is the uh, uh, you know lateral flow assay. Lateral flow assay test. You know LFA lateral flow assay test. Card test. Rapid test. So you do rapid test if. If you want to get a fast diagnosis, the best is this, or the best I would say the best test for cryptococcus is always this lateral flow assay. Okay, the test is fast, and then you get the report very you know easily. Okay, that's what. Uh, just just a second. Yeah, sorry, something happened with the thing. Ah, uh, so now uh, look, so it's a fast, and the best test is always your lateral flow assay. But apart from that. You can do what Indian ink or negrosil stain. You can do otherwise. You can do what culture. I told you, niger seed or bird seed. Agar those things, okay, niger seed, 
birch seed okay all these things okay birch seed don't forget see pigeons i told here and bat i told for histoplasma and also penicillium uh, uh, no, no, uh, not penicillium your uh, histoplasma is a bat and you have parrot parrot you remember where parrot is for your parrot is for which one your chlamydia cytokosis yeah for chlamydia cytokosis cytokosis chlamydia cytokosis okay Okay, that's it. These are the things you have to remember in your crypto. Nothing more will come out of crypto. This much only. So you any capsule, capsule, capsule means cryptococcus, cryptococcus, cryptococcus. And don't convince cryptosporidium. Cryptosporidium, cyclospora, isospora, they are acid first parasite. That is the most common cause of diarrhea in HIV patients. Those sporidium, mein, sporidium intestine, mein, ye caucus brain, mein, and cryptococcus in the brain. That's it. Okay, right. Now, next, look at this. I think we are coming to we have a few more questions only. Almost we're done. So, which of the following is the least important in the development of mucormycosis? Mucormycosis was very popular in COVID time. You know that. So, what are the important, excuse me, uh, important uh, risk factors, which is not. So, where, where can I expect mucormycosis? Mucor, uh, I'll, we'll talk about mucormycosis as much difference in a while. But before that, diabetic patient, may, definitely diabetic patients are highly prone to mucormycosis. Diabetic, this is diabetic ketoacidosis. Diabetic, this is diabetic ketoacidosis. So, diabetic may definitely cause us. Steroid may definitely immunity goes down. Mucormycosis will be so happy. Okay, mucormycosis, you know, the rhizopus, your mucor, uh, or rhizo mucor, obsidia, those species only. Okay, steroid may definitely as neutropenia classically it will cause. What about antibiotic? Chronic use of antibiotic. What is the link? There is no link between antibiotic use and a fungal infection, right? Especially mucormycosis. There is no link. It's a bacteria. No, that's a bacteria. A chronic use of antibiotic causes bacterial resistance, something else. No any link with the fungi. So this is your answer. Chronic use of antibiotic is not. So this is the right answer. This is not the risk factor for mucormycosis. Okay. Got it? And this diabetic steroid neutropenia, you have to remember. Okay. Got it. Look at this. So you will have one question on this. Uh, the first picture, which is the aspergillus. This is aspergillus. And the down one, this is mucormycosis or zygomycosis. They doesn't mucormycosis, mucormycosis or zygomycosis, zygomycosis. How does the uh, fungi looks? How does the hyphae looks? That's the question. So how does it look? Now, let's start. It looks like this. See here, clue is AS, right? AS, A for acute angle. Yes, for septate hyphae. Acute angle septate hyphae is aspergillus. Look at this picture everywhere. Are you seeing? It is like a V shape. You know, this is acute angle. This is the acute angle, huh? like this. V, V, you can see here, V, V, like this. And everywhere, like this, V. And if you see inside, there's a septate. If you see properly inside, you see here, 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 everywhere, there's a septate like this. So this acute angle is acute angle septate hyphae is aspergillus. Got it? So, this is very, very important. This is Musicarmin silver stain because silver stain ka and this all are uh, PAS, per iodic chef test. Okay, past step. The pink color, na? pink is per iodic. And this is uh, uh, anything with black that is always silver stain. So, Musicarmin silver. Okay. And this is pink, pink is past PAS ka stain. Okay. Now, so, so acute angle septate hyphae. You got it? So, this for aspergillus. Mucormycosis is exactly opposite to aspergillus. It's me kya hoti? Instead of acute, they have what? Wide angle, not acute, but they have wide angle and no septae or a septae. No septae. Septae, there is no septae or we call a septate. There is no septa or a septa. Wide angle, no septa or a septa. Okay, got it? This is the question. Now, look at this. Here, you see. You seeing, right? It's like this. First of all, it is big, broad. First of all, the hyphae itself, a septate, broad hyphae. You know, the hyphae are very broad. You see, big, big hyphae. Big, big hyphae to take. See, you see here, big, big hyphae. And see, they are like, the branching is like this. It's like, not acute. It's like 90 degree, wide angle. You know, more than that. See here. You're seeing here, right? See here, wide angle. It's not acute. It's not like this. It's not like this, right? It's not like acute. It's wide angle like this. Like this wide angle, and there is no septa. Septa is not there, so that comes that is mucormycosis or the thing. So you can have a question from this aspergillus mucormycosis. Okay, mucormycosis is nothing but your rhizopus, your uh, mucor itself. You know, mucor, rhizomucor, all those pieces, obsidia, all those things. Okay, that's, okay. So I think we have come to the end of the topic. 
So these are something sketch points you should know. So there is no way you're going to miss any of this topic. And uh, and the most important thing is that, uh, yeah, I will give you one more revision, guys. Don't worry. I'll make a very sweet, soft, super fast revision before your FMG exam. So until that, revise all the best. I'm sure you guys will do great. All the best once again. Okay. God bless you guys. Thank you.